Hey, my name is George Ignat and I'm the president of Fight for Freedom, the president of uh, this organization that uh, is um, running two refugee centers here in the northern side of Romania, just by the border with Ukraine. I was an athlete. I did Greco-Roman wrestling and mixed martial arts and sambo, three combat sports. Um, I was a champion in that, but also been doing mistakes um, and, and take bad decisions, which eventually lead me uh, to prison. That was the place where uh, I realized that life is not about only winning, Fight for Freedom organization was built on this idea that I received and this vision that I received while I was in prison. And it was about helping inmates, people who spend time in prison and come out from prison and have nobody to wait for them, helping them to rehabilitate. When the war started, we realized that we need to help refugees and we reconvert our facilities. So this facility here, uh, working with, with ex-prisoners, we reconverted in a, a refugee camp. The other facility we have in Suceava city and was taking care of homeless people, we reconverted in a, a, in a refugee camp also. So Fight for Freedom so far, it become from a seven people person ministry before the war. It become a, a 250 volunteers who sign with us right now from many from many countries. So we work like tens of people every uh, in shifts of eight hours to be able to help Ukrainian refugees. Sono Miriam Mostafi, sono arrivata qui uh, la settimana scorsa insieme a delle amiche che, non, che mi hanno invitato, hanno detto dai c'è bisogno di aiuto e ho, ho accettato con, uh, con braccia aperte, ho detto sì vengo assolutamente. Uh, tutte le persone sono diverse, non puoi dire che ci stanno una maggior parte o ognuno ha le sue emozioni venendo da un paese con la guerra. Non, Sono felice di aver trovato un rifugio, non sono molto sicuri, anche perché siamo abbastanza vicini, però cerchiamo ogni giorno di dare loro sicurezza e, sicurezza e speranza. E cerchiamo, insomma, ci sono bambini che magari non sanno quello che è successo, i genitori magari hanno detto altro, non hanno detto che c'è la guerra. E cerchiamo ogni giorno di farli sentire a casa, di farli sentire bene. Ci sono molte persone che magari sono molto chiuse e non hanno il coraggio di aprirsi. Abbiamo cercato di, prima di tutto di farli sentire a casa con un letto, con un, magari un pranzo, una cena ogni giorno. My name is Oksana Mutz, I'm from Ukraine and more than one month ago we arrived here to Romania. We started to move from Ukraine in the third day of the war. We were together with all my family and in the middle of our way we got the news from President that men who are since 18 until 16 years old, they cannot go, they cannot leave their country. So. What was meaning for me that only me and my daughters can cross the border with Romania and my sons, two of them, and my husband, they supposed to stay in U Ukraine. So the reason why I came with my daughters, it was the, this rule for, for, for Ukraine. I'm sure we, will, we should take care about our Ukrainian people everywhere in many ways, because we will have many, many different difficult situations because many of Ukrainian people, they lost their relatives, they lost their houses, they lost hope, they lost faith, they lost many things, not like material things, but even like emotionals. And uh, so we should take care about people, not only by food or clothes or everything, we should help them to go through this difficult time through this war and help them to support them in many, many ways.
perspective, the children um, Romania are here since the very first day since the Ukrainian uh, war started. Uh, it was a difficult period um, in the beginning because we didn't know how to organize ourselves, ourselves, how to, what is to be done. In tent, which is a, um, an inside playground, they have lots of uh, materials to paint, to, not to paint, to draw, to color. Um, they have uh, fluffy toys. Um, um, from time to time, we put some disco music um, on YouTube, uh, songs for children, in order to uh, make them forget. So usually. Usually here, um, children when come spend half an hour, one hour, or as long as they want because uh, we do not have a time limit here. Children come here just to to play, to socialize, to to develop skills, to forget about uh, war and to live their childhood as as normal as it can be. Abbiamo proprio visitato come eh, la Romania si sta prendendo cura eh, del, degli arrivi, delle persone che scappano dalla guerra. Eh, la cosa che ci ha molto sorpreso è come rapidamente sono riusciti a creare un sistema di accoglienza abbastanza integrato, lavorano insieme diverse associazioni eh, sia dello Stato che del privato sociale, quindi del terzo settore, eh, considerando che è la prima volta per i rumeni che, che accolgono. A noi ha sorpreso molto il, il sistema eh, molto organizzato di, di accoglienza. È chiaro che eh, colpisce, colpisce soprattutto quando vai a trovare le persone che vengono ospitate nei centri di accoglienza, colpisce eh, che alcuni bambini sono, hanno comunque uno sguardo di, 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 di tristezza, di, di diffidenza. Sport is uh, a common language for everybody, so uh, could be a, a good reason to uh, be um, a messenger for everybody that sport uh, has the, the reason of peace, of course, and uh, the reason of uh, uh, connecting people. Um, the idea of peace in sport is related to fair play, so uh, uh, it's well known that fair play means no uh, aggression, no war, uh, a good behavior. So uh, through this activity and through the idea of peace, we hope that we could send this message of um, good life, staying together and uh, having fun. Visita is important uh, for us 
um, because in this way we can uh, bring together the children that we have uh, in uh, sport high school and also with the refugees so they can make uh, together a running and also they can celebrate the fact that they are safe and actually they can enjoy together uh, the sports and all the activity. I don't know, this is something like a celebration for, for them. The message that uh, Vivisita is uh, sending to our children and also to our community is uh, really uh, important and uh, is powerful in this moment because of the situation that we have in Ukraine. And I think that uh, Ukrainian children uh, feel that they are uh, supported uh, by uh, our country, by uh, our uh, students and um, together we can bring peace here wh where we stay. Credo sia incredibile eh, vedere come si è, è velocemente riorganizzato un popolo e in ogni forma, in ogni posto, per cercare di dare accoglienza. È incredibile il fatto che si siano superate tutte le barriere mh, dettate dalla politica e si vede solo l'individuo che ha bisogno di aiuto e quindi si fa di tutto in qualsiasi spazio per creare un'opportunità di accoglienza. I am Maria Pavelescu, I am a school psychologist at Sport High School in Suceava, Romania and I uh, work with uh, 24 uh, refugees, uh, students from 10 to 16 years old. They are here from uh, more like four weeks. And uh, my, uh, my role is to learn them uh, English and uh, Romanian language, to try to understand uh, words in Romania and to uh, have a dialogue with people around them. And also I make with the, these students games to try to develop their self-esteem self because they are afraid of the situa situation in which they are. Uh, they are waking up in the evening and they are crying because they are don't, don't know where they are. And they are praying that uh, work can, uh, can stop maybe tomorrow and to go back home. Our school director put the students uh, according to the Uh, students that uh, know Ukrainian, maybe students from uh, Moldavia or from Ukraine, to can to translate to them. Yeah, when you play a game, and especially for students, you are involved in all this. So you are, you are taught and you are, uh, all you think about the world is not there. You, you forgot for 50-20 minutes, you know. You are involved in this. And also I try to, to establish with a trainer, with Luda, uh, how we can counseling these students to be to be more uh, self esteem and to to try to manage the, to make a good uh, emotional management you know it's very important for them now so 
stata un'esperienza fantastica perché l'abbiamo visto, l'abbiamo toccato con mano quanto lo sport possa essere eh, comunicativo. Eh, questi ragazzi veramente parlano quattro parole di, di, di rumeno e comunque giocavano insieme e comunque eh, eh, utilizzavano uno sport anche per comunicare, per comunicarsi qualcosa, Al, almeno la gioia ma tant, tante altre emozioni che ci sono, eh, che ci sono venute eh, nel cuore, nel cervello e, nel, 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 e sulla pelle, tante emozioni che si sono eh, scambiati pur non parlando o parlando estremamente poco la, la lingua dell'altro. c'è una differenza tra ciò che ci raccontano e la verità e la verità la trovi negli occhi di queste persone, di questi bambini che soffrono, che stanno soffrendo tanto perché hanno trovato un materasso come la propria casa e non possono più fare quello che facevano prima, hanno, molti hanno lasciato i genitori lì e, e il popolo rumeno se ne sta prendendo cura. Le emozioni lì sono devastanti perché, eh, perché quando vedi quegli occhi, eh, ma poi con un gioco, con un pennarello, con un foglio, eh, con un'attività sportiva, riesci a far ritornare il sorriso a questi bambini, allora sai che il sorriso davvero è come un virus, è contagioso perché li contagia e le immagini di questa missione credo che l'abbiano mostrato.